Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. So we need to talk. I have attempted to film this video at least three times. I've been sitting on it for at least two months and I'm finally going to do it. Just gonna do it. This is my last attempt at it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna film it. gonna edit it. gonna post it. I'm not gonna chicken out this time. But this is the next installment in my Power of Words video series. This is a series where I discuss our word usage, the reason we use certain terms, the effect they can have on other people, and how we can start to look at our words and use them more responsibly. As you may be able to tell by the title, this video is all about our overuse of the word addict, addiction, and related terms. I feel that this is a problem not just in the book internet community. It is a problem in many communities. However, I'm going to be specifically addressing the issue within the book community. Booktube, bookstagram, book blogging, book lovers in general. As I've said many times on my channel, I work in a psychiatric facility. Probably over half of the patients that I see there have dealt with addiction in some form or fashion within their life. It has either served as a negative way to cope with a situation or it has actually caused their mental illness to manifest or to develop or to become worse. So every day I work with people who have experienced addiction in a life-altering, life-ruining way. For a lot of them, it has completely destroyed their lives. And then when I come home and I log on to, you know, book Twitter, bookstagram, booktube, I see addiction thrown around as this silly little term that just is cute. It's a way to say that I love books a lot. So I use the word addiction. And I feel that this is irresponsible. Even within the mental health community, there's a lot of stigma with addiction. There's a moral aspect to it that people like to sort of blame the person that is experiencing addiction rather than looking at it like any other psychiatric diagnosis. If someone called a book slump a book depression, no one would be okay with that. If someone read a book and it impacted them in a very intense way and they called it post-traumatic book disorder, that would be a problem. But we are continuously okay with throwing around words like addiction, book addiction, book addict, and the use of other derogatory terms that relate to addiction. While these may seem harmless, they are invalidating to those who struggle with addiction every day. When we overuse words like addiction, they lose their power and people do not take them as seriously as they need to be taken. Addiction is serious and should be treated as such. Now, I am not saying by any means that we should go and attack people who use the word book addict, book addiction, book junkie. I'm not saying that they are bad people. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect and I've never used the word book addiction. I'm not saying that you shouldn't follow these people, that you should denounce these people or shun these people or any of that. I'm simply saying that it might be time to start to consider our word use a little bit more. I feel that the language is out there and I feel that people who constantly read should have even more words to choose from. Reading is a pretty consistent part of most of our lives and I feel that that gives us the resources and the brain power to find other words and to find language that more accurately describes that without invalidating an actual diagnosable illness as well as the experiences of other people. Now, I don't I don't feel like this can happen overnight. I feel like this is a process. Language takes time to change. Um, and those automatic words that we go to take a long time to change. Habits die hard. My fear with this video is that I'm going to be taken as hating on the booktube community. And that is not at all what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show more love to it and more love to those that may have experienced addiction in their lives by giving them the respect that they deserve. I'm not trying to hate on anyone. I am simply trying to suggest the start of a conversation. A conversation about what we can do to more accurately validate those who have been through different situations than our own. And that's what this series is about. It's about learning to use our words more responsibly. I would love to know your opinions below. I would love to have an educated discussion with people. Um, if you disagree with me, that's fine. I would like to know your reasons behind that if you do disagree so we can discuss it in a very mature way. I will say before posting this video, before filming this video, I talked with several people in the booktube community. Some are professionals in the field, the same field that I'm in. Some are just, you know, booktubers in the community. And I did talk to a handful of people because I wanted to know how this came across. I didn't want to seem like I was just bringing something up and being very sensitive about it. But mental health is something that I am very passionate about. And it's something that I advocate for every day of my life. And I will continue to do so. That's just who I am. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it has been thought provoking in some way or another. But that's all. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye. Tripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night. I feel the soldiers coming. I'm done pulling up a
fight 